talking about this bandsaw uh, descent speed control which fits just there. Now hopefully I've had two cracks at it and I think hopefully my problem was that I did not put in the right size o-ring. This is a 35mm bore. Uh, now before we get any further let's talk about pulling it apart. The easy way to do this that's usually on there that connects to that. Take this nut off, unscrew this a bit, unscrew that, leave this on. Uh, yes, no, yes. I'll take it off, drain the oil. I had an advice, just drain the oil into wherever it's environmentally friendly. Put this back on. No, let's go back a step. This lid just pulls off. It's got a little groove. The screwdriver will knock that off. One screw clip in the top. You've got a seal here. Don't worry about that. That's what we're going to be removing. Oops. Don't worry about that. Lid off. Screw clip off. Oil drained. Put this one back on. Close the tap. Air gun. Hopefully you've got one. Blast air in here. That'll pop that seal out. I'm going to pour it this. That'll pop out easy. Now you need to do something like that. There's no other way around it because, or well, maybe you can turn. I think the first time I did it, I turned it upside down and just bashed it. Sorry. Turn the whole lot upside down, bashed it on the bench to eventually get that seal out. But it was just it's easier with the compressed air. Because here's your real problem: a second circle clip. Ah, now let's go back a step even further still, I remember now. This piston... This piston... will hit that thread. If you go start to bash that... Uh, no, that won't work because if you... Uh, sorry. You're pushing this way, so that should work. But just be mindful when you come to pull that piston out, you've got to remove this altogether. Very easily done. Okay, so what I've put in there is a that's a 35, I think nearly 35 mil bore. And currently, I have in there a 36 mil. This is from um, this is an Audi kit. I believe it's a 36 by three O-ring. Before I had in there, I just didn't read it right. And I really should have made this video so I could show you uh, what the piston, the O-ring setup looks like. You'll find out for yourself anyway. Uh, but now they've got that circlet back in there. It's a bit fiddly. You know, you're actually going to need a decent, a pretty natty pair of circlet pliers. These are brilliant. Got these do internal and external by changing those pin configurations around. You can take these tips out; they're hard as hell. Uh, you can get, I think, have we got 30 degrees, 40 degree, 90 degree, uh, very pointy ends, big ends, and I've got three sets, like a very small set, just medium, and then a big one, which is also ratcheting, brilliant, might be Barco, I think, which was once upon a time on the handle, but long gone, anyway, so currently I've got a 36, had a had, a 35 you know something that was exactly right size I would have put it in but having said that I think the 36 uh, might be better at springing out and keeping uh, some tension against the bore it's just the piston has got a series of holes in it it's tapered uh, I guess when it's pushing down it pushes the o-ring up against the that groove of the piston seals off forces the uh, oil through the tap but when you pull it up the it's quite a, a big groove for the o-ring that the o-ring will simply drop down letting oil past internally inside 
the uh, O-ring and then through a series of cross drilled holes in the piston therefore bypassing the tap well it's not bypassing the tap, it's gone the wrong way but anyway well it is bypassing the tap so fingers crossed that this 36mm by 3mm O-ring is the business yeah, they're very, these things are too expensive to buy, they're too simple. Not even outrageously well made, but they certainly do the job. And I've certainly missed not having it on. Alright, if it works, I'm like, okay, brilliant. So what I've done is I've assembled it without any oil. Put this end in the vise and just tested it pneumatically. And if it works pneumatically, it's sure as shit going to work hydraulically because the oil is a lot thicker and has surface tension but this works even pneumatically so I can close the tap try and force it close probably didn't work open the tap and then I've even got the full speed control so I can leave the tap open and open and close it and vary the speed shut it right off with a needle valve uh, it won't close open it right up or some part and it closes accordingly so absolutely giggling I can't believe that it's taken three goes to understand really I just simply had the wrong size o-rings in there in the first place that minor leap of logic you know I didn't have the o-rings is the one that I pulled out that I previously put in too small doesn't seal against the bore how silly am I because I thought somehow that we were sealing no even then stupid just stupid silly 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 waste my time all right i'll get some oil in there and we'll do another video and here we are filling given this fitting here is higher than him i figured that uh, we can afford to go away a bit of an angle I might be able to get just a little bit more in there and what I've done is pour it's going to be a bit messy of course no, that's pretty much about it anyway oh, no, it's coming down here probably because it's coming out of here anyway, I've seen lots of things about oh, you can't have any air in there on forums but that's a nonsense you know, you'll lose Oops, I'm trying to do two things at once. Uh, some of your damping or speed control at that point where there's air in the system, you know, you'll run out. It was, it'll be on the top end uh, in your initial thing, not down to where you're cutting. Uh, so, you know, do your best to get your air out, of course. But don't worry about it too much, and I'm just using motor oil because uh, it's not going to eat the O-rings or anything. And it's cheap, it's on hand, it's pretty thick stuff. I mean, they probably used a hydraulic oil to begin with, uh, probably 68 or something. It's pretty thick for that. You don't need to me do this. All right, that's it. Let's work it on and off another video. Funny, I went to refit this, started putting it on and it wouldn't close up. And I've come to realise I've got the piston alongside of this thread, haven't I? Silly Billy. I'm do it here, twist this off, push it down a bit, I might just top it up with a bit more oil if I lose any. And back in action. And next learnings. It doesn't want to be full of oil, it does not want to be full of oil, because it wouldn't move anywhere. I was smart enough this time to do a bench test with the oil in it, like I did the pneumatic test, hydraulic test, and it would hardly move, would it? So what I did was I backed off this nut, left a little bit on there, because otherwise you'd end up squirting oil over your arm as you're trying to push this in. I'd filled it up, which is really a pretty good way to go to start off with to make sure you have the appropriate amount of oil not guessing because what you'll do is you back this off close this up 
and oil leaks out and then once you've got it fully compressed or the piston fully closed the rod all the way retracted just the pin nut and then you're good to go so awesome on bench test and if we let's have a go so obviously taps open speeds good and that should open just the way it should and nice and journal let's close that tap down just to prove the point that's completely closed and nothing so there you go all right let's get the sucker on and here we go this has been a long time coming you know I've lost control ages ago and just say you know, held the machine to stop it cutting it's cutting so quickly and now we've got control back so look taps open needles closed nothing and I've got ex excellent speed control back like I bought one yeah you know, been getting worse for quite some time obviously the o-ring was just wearing out I was bypassing so very pleased with that good luck with yours all right see ya I'm out